Hello ladies and gentlemen, Wolfrichen here, and welcome back to another episode of the Greater German Reich in Hearts of Iron 4 base game mod, and as you can see I've made a lot of progress since then, and well, I can't say the same much for Japan because they're already getting pummeled, but hey, that's just me. Anyway, let's get crack a lacking. So I already have units already fighting in the Soviet Union. Let's see, I also have units fighting in Egypt, which I also need to take care of more because, yeah. Let's see. Oh, let me transfer these units over here. Transfer those units there, and it's a good thing too because as I did occupy the United Kingdom, that allows me to at least, <laughs> you know. It's it's funny that I didn't really wanted to invade Denmark as of yet, but hey, you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Besides, I don't even have any chi honor or whatever, like, I'm- all I'm just doing is just this. But I do want to make sure I also, uh... Okay, so let's improve- let's improve the various roads of the USSR while I'm advancing. Because lord knows I need it. And I do apologize, like I said in, said in advance before, but the game does get a bit buggy by the time the latter years come in. So if you see any slowing down of um, scroll movement, you can understand why. Right. We're already occupying Egypt. Well, the German Congo was already a lost cause anyway. But I could be able to regain it back. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, British Burma. Mm -hmm. And well, I still like to support. I still want to support Chiang Kai shek's China because I'm still doing so. Mm -hmm. Improve with Chiang Kai shek's China. But hey, I still got a modified Lend Lease, am I right? China was able to, um, white peace with the Japanese, but, uh, <laughs> but now Japan is fighting against both the Soviets and the Japanese. Yeah, Japan is fighting the Soviet, no wait, Japan is fighting the, the Soviets and Americans, the allies, and <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna last long. Japan is gonna- US will have to sign a separate peace treaty with Japan, and if they do invade me, they'll have to sign a peace treaty with me, but hey. Hmm. And because the US is also in the war, it's just not gonna- it's not gonna be easy. Alright, I need to cover up my flanks, because this is ridiculous. Hmm. Douglas. Let's see. Hmm. I could also want to try and see if I can also invade. Mm hmm. Right click for an invasion. Alright, let's see. Okay, invasion preparation will take time, so yeah. Mm hmm. Understandable. And Vichy French, the Vichy French are helping the Japanese, but <laughs> I'm helping the Chinese. I'm not even sending Lend Lease to the Soviets because of reasons. I'm already at war with them as it is. 
So why add more random fuel to the fire? Army group white. No, no, no. My southern flanks need to be covered. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, I think... Oh boy, I'm already close to the gates of Moscow. And I already took over Kiev. And... And no, this isn't... And before you even say anything, I know about the whole... Russo... Russian... Ki Russian Kievan crisis, so... Don't grill me for what you see in the game here. If this is just a game, based off... A historical war back then. This has nothing to do with modern war, with what's happening now currently. So don't grill me. Don't criticize. Don't criticize me on this because look, you might see it that way, but how I see it is completely different. Because I'm just trying to make sure I see myself in an unbiased light. Okay, so we okay, so we have a uh, okay, we already have all of Moldova almost under our grasp. That's good. Slowly but surely, and I oh, hang. I can't lose the initiative. But I do want to encir encircle them around Odessa. Well, technically in well, technically I'm already encircling them around Tatia Alba? I don't know how the heck you can say that. But, yeah. Wait, who wants to be- Okay, who wants to become a subject? Wait, manage puppets. Okay, let's- Let's see who. Manage subjects- Oh, the general- Oh, the general government wants to be- Okay. Oh, nah, I'm not getting my puppets involved, and I already have my major allies all already still neutral, so I'm technically the one pulling my own weight. My allies can still, even though, like, with Greece, uh, even though with Bulgaria and Italy, they already were able to pull their weight of taking over Greece thanks to me in a subtle way, so, yeah. Yep, Egypt just capitulated just like that. Huh. It, did. it didn't even take that long. Wow. Oh, but I better also check on my agents. This will be difficult for me to, uh, yeah. Central African Empire? Bro, like, you already just got defeated. I'm sorry, Central Africa, but you're already on your own as it is. And I do want to occupy the British entirely in perpetuity, so... So let's do that. Okay.
the golden square. So let's let's make an let's make some friendly overtures with them. Well, actually, let's just uh, make a direct confrontation here, a direct confrontation there. Mm-hmm. Already taking a lot of land. This is actually pretty, going pretty well. I like it. And I'm already using aircrafts as far as from Britain. Well, occupied Britain, basically. Excuse me. Oh boy. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I know this might take long, but hey, I'm d the war with the Soviet Union is slowly dragging out to a to attrition. But as long as I'm holding my ground, it's all cool. Oh yeah, I previously gave Zambia its independence, as well, Nambia too. And Winston Churchill is the leader? Huh. But seriously though, but seriously, but like in all serious, seriousness, Roly Poly Roosevelt, you had to get in on the Allies as soon as I kicked, Br kicked Britain's bucket for them, like, come on. That's... that is so uncalled for. Like, oh my god, now that means that, now that means America's getting involved with the war because they joined, and now this. This is just wrong. Ah, hung... oh good, Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. They have reclaimed land from the Treaty of Trinan, but they're a bit full of themselves. <laughs> Wouldn't have said that better myself, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eastern. Oh, yeah, the Eastern Front small units. Shift bridges and this. Let's see how much longer I have to wait for this. At last, Moscow is ours. Hmm. Let's see how much longer this. Oh, it's only been 42 days. Well, I mean, technically 18, but yeah. At last, Moscow. At last, Moscow is ours. You know, it's kind of funny, because if I'm able to actually reach over to Sing Kang, Communist Sing Kang, I might as well help the Chinese also gain back their pride by... Yeah. Hmm. That's a good idea. And in Africa, let's just say things are going a bit well my way. Neutral Zambia also cuts, cuts between the, Af the British African colony, so... <laughs> I call that. A win-win for myself. Let's see. Ooh, the foundations of defense, as well modernize and 
Ooh, I love this one. But seriously though, why is Mexico under a socialist regime? Jesus. I mean, at least they have... At least they have, um, elections, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Fall of Leningrad. Leningrad, the birthplace of Russian Revolution, has fallen to the advancing forces. Sporadic infighting. Early today, columns of German soldiers marched past St. Isaac's Cathedral, whose great dome has been painted gray by Red Army engineers to avoid. Oh, Vasilov captured? To avoid the intention of, mar of marauding German forces. Despite their efforts, it's riddled with bullet holes and shrapnel. Another victory. Pilot Ace promoted. Hmm. We cannot trust it. The germ the the Soviet Union joins wait. An ally against the Bolsheviks is welcome. Well, I mean that's how they would put it, technically. Oh, what's this? Panzer expert, let's see. Uh, scavenger. Oh, armor expert. Alright, there'll be a new advisor. Now let's see my commanders in this. Eric von Witzel Ben has been wounded, unfortunate. And it's. Wait, wait. Yep, and clear and bright as day, Andrew, Andrew, Andrei Vlazov is now part of me. This trait will be removed upon completion of the focus Lessons of War. This character feels threatened by Stalin's purges and will not carry out his work. Freely, freely for fear for being accused of treason, his performance is... Let's see, his performance is significantly affected. I see. Reintegrate Luxembourg and Auslas Lorraine. Nice. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish Plan Z. It's. Uh, yeah, Plan Z is not really gonna be achievable by this point. But I will say that, uh... Yeah. Yeah, and... Wow! Let's just say that uh, the soldiers will be meeting those units again. The fall of Zavastopol, heavily fortified city of Zavastopol, another victory for the Vaterland. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time. We have to keep up the fight, and let's see what happens. Oh, I can create Ostland now. Create the right Komozar Ostland. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure nothing weird happened. Okay, okay, good. Nothing weird happened. Good. Mm hmm. So that's the first. Reich's Komazar we made. French operative captured. Oh boy. 
Turkey delivers. If it's aid they want, it's aid shall be received. But what happened to Ataturk? That's so. Heh, <laughs> funny. Both me and Britain are securing Turkey's independence, which is kind of ironic because we want them on our side for future wars. Stability 66%, but war support is still at the all time high. The war support, the support for war is at an all-time high, but hey. Mm hmm And we already ca Moscow was already- Moscow has already been captured right here. And all that stuff, but uh... Hmm. Wow. Even for Spain, they're lucky because I gave them Spanish, Mer Spanish Gibraltar. Well, British Gibraltar, yeah. And I don't like the way how I'm basically going to be stuck at war with the United States. And it's just, it's just not feasible. Allying, not allying with Japan was the best outcome because Japan is already getting wrecked earlier than I am by four years. <laughs> Japan's own downfall. And I love it. It's so funny. Let's see. Reichskommandar Ukraine. Let's see. Stalino. Hang on, love with and stands well. Do I have to occupy those? Well, I guess I don't, but I know the borders are going to change anyway. Oh yeah, the trains normally operate themselves, so yeah. Understandable. And like, <laughs> and like, I'm not pulling any punches. Like, this is the best I'm. Do this is the best I'm doing slowly. Oh, the invasion of a. Uh... All right. Seems like the invasion of the I of the Isle of Man really proved successful. Better should give the. Wait, no, cancel that. <laughs> Under the BUFNA, Mr. Mo Mr. Mustache, Man of Britain. Give control of the state to, uh, let's see, Northern Ireland. Do I have that? Oh wait, no I do not. Oh wait, no I do not. That's not my own dome. Oh, okay. Much of Europe is already under my grasp and well, all I can say is this. Like... And sorry if you might hear the low, um, gen general noises. Or the battles. It's mainly because, uh... I didn't really think this through a bit. Okay, there we go. I was able to um put up the vo put up I was able to highlight the volume up again. Mm -hmm. And now we're already heading into Karelia. Wow. Mm 
And let's just say I'm already occupying much of the Soviet railroads at this point, like, it's not even a contest. But I do want to develop much of the area as, quick, as fast as possible before the Soviet Union capitulate in the long term. So let's see here. Oh yeah, the rail. Oh yeah, the railroads. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I'm not suffering any problems, but the problems here, but the problems with the railways here, yeah. I'm gonna need to make sure I, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm creating... Yeah, I'm basically creating uh, extra railways at, by this point. Alright, now for the attack. And aw, oh, Finland, you had to like, stop our non-aggression pack? That's sad. I still, I still liked our aggression pack. But, oh well, beggars can't be choosers, and besides, I don't want to anger you at the moment, which is, uh, against my principle. Hmm. And, like, just look at this, like, it's not a... I can tell it's no contest, but like... Oh no, the Germans have been encircled! We shall save them. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of less troops are now being devoted- are being devoted from the, um... Yeah. We cancel that. We shall get rid of the encirclements there. Oh! Oh, soldiers are already... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I'm trying to also help guide... Gu I'm also trying to help, like, guide the different soldiers to where they need to go. Mm -hmm. Like, I know this hasn't really gone much, and the Soviet government just relocated to Stalingrad. Oh goody! I can create Rex Komazar Ukraine now. But I do not like these Ukrainian borders. Mm -mm. These will simply not do. These will simply not do indeed. Hold on for a second. Now these, my friends, are proper borders. They're proper. Oh, jo Johannes Bl Blaskowitz wounded. Oh boy. Oh, holy shoot! I I I I realized I neglected the the African front for so long. I didn't realize the the Germans actually really pushed that deep down. Like, my god, man. Is this crazy or what? <laughs> Western Desert. I still want to make sure I get control of much of the large states behind the front lines. Mm-hmm. 
All right. There we go. If Turkey needs aid, they'll need it as always. Like, it's not a contest. Damn. These soldiers are... The Soviet... I will have to... I will have to congratulate the Soviets for knowing how to fight behind the lines, which is actually something that I really do applaud them for. But sometimes their backhanded tactics can sometimes be a bit... Oh wow. What's this? Oh wow, Siam, you're just gonna get royally ticked right now. <laughs> Siam joins the Greater Co-Prosperity Spear, and, Japan and you're already lo losing to Japan. <laughs> Well, technically, you're already losing with Japan. Like, come on. You can do better than that, can you? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, no other European ally is going to join my war. Aside from the allies I already got and have, but, uh, yeah, that's beside the point. I gotta secure the ent I gotta secure the area of the Caucasus right here. I know I want to get the oil fields, but I'm doing this like small tidbits at a time. Mm -hmm. And I already have Ukraine and Ostland as puppets, so let's make this count. Oh. Alright, things are really getting going now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh what, oh, a unit of my army was just encircled. Let's, we shall fix that. We, in we have integrated Luxembourg and Auslas Lorraine finally. Let's see now. Let's start with uh, synthetic rubber. Large scale motorization and aviation requires large amounts of rubber, of which we own no sources, so we must improve the way we create it synthetically. Which is understandable. But, like, look at. <laughs> oh my god, just, just look at this Axis Alliance. And Australia already is part of. is already within the. Um, leading team member. It should have been like, you know, Japan. It should have been like, you know, no, I'm saying it should have been like US from the early beginning, but... And why the hell is... Like, why the hell is the Dutch East Indies still part of a Japanese... part of the Soviet Comintern? That doesn't make any bloody sense to me. Like, what is the reasoning for... for, for, for the Netherlands to join the Soviet Comintern? Like, What's the reasoning behind this game? Even though I already had, like, AI historically on. Like, the Dutch could have joined the Allies when I declared war on them, but no. They had to do a stupid... They had to do a stupid nosy move and join the Soviet Alliance. Like, how did that even work? Like, sheesh. And you might have noticed that the game is going a bit slowly, but hey, I like a slower game and careful strategy than, um, than just randomly just going off the walls like crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the southern and northern flanks also, um, also also covered. Okay, the next city we're gonna have to take over is... Oh, never mind. Let's see. We're almost close to the town of Gorky! And... Uyulianovsk. Sorry if I really can't pronounce much of a Russian or any other SSR Republic name. It's, it's just confusing trying to know them. Or even pronounce them, for God's sake. All 
Alright. Mm hmm. This is go. Yep, the operation is going swimmingly well. I'm already going down the Caucasus. And because of the fact like how I know that the AI is t I know that my uh, troops because I already instructed them are going slowly. I like to make sure I like to see them go a bit faster. So let's um oh yeah, so let's push this to the test. And I was trying to push the battle plans to aggressive tactics, but I realized that uh yeah. And besides, this is not like as if I'm using like the ideal ID cheat army like <laughs> like this isn't even like to me funnily this isn't even fair like <laughs> oh my god man dang I already well I already cut off the Soviets to their <laughs> well finally at least a bit finally at least a lot more consistency finally Finally, a lot more consistency at least. The Netherlands joined the Allies, but uh, their Dutch, co but the Dutch East Indies colony still is part of the Soviet Comintern. Why would I have any business wanting the Indonesia? The Japanese should take Indonesia, not me, because I don't really care that much. Yeah, yeah. When I don't care about, when I don't care much. Not much about a colony that is already miles away from you in terms of that size. Like, like, what are you gonna do? Okay, let's. We're gonna redirect some tanks and soldiers over to like um. All right, Tbilis has already been captured, so all right. Turkey delivers another investment. All right, if it's if it's if it's investments they want, it's investment they'll get. Although for this neat, although for the Caucasus, I may as well put up a native government, na a native ruling government. So you know. Like, guys, I'm not even doing this. I already reached Baku. This isn't even funny. And when I say it's not even funny, it's not even funny. The fall of Baku. Hmm. Offer peace. You are not you are not the war leader for the losing side, so the war score in favor for the other side must be at least 50. Let's see, uh, current wars. Hold up, okay, hold up, hold up. The French common the French commune? Where the heck did they- Where the heck did they- Where the heck did they pop up- pop up from? This is weird. Oh well, time- Oh well, time to take down a French commune rebellion. Under Edouard de Lange de Cari? I have no idea what that kind of name that is, so I'm not even bothered. And they have her capital in Calais. Like, what is this? Okay, let's put, okay, let's split up the group so it'll be more profound. Mm-hmm. Yep, the French commune finally capitulated. But I also need to give back. Uh... Yeah, this 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 one this part belongs to like a. Really? Okay, let's see. For Belgium, give control of their state back. Nord de Calais. Mm -hmm. Because that's supposed to be the borders, I don't know why. <laughs> Th 
the annexation of Alslas finally retake our lands. Hmm. Should we call? Maybe it's good we call ourselves the for the Thousand Year Reich, obviously. So yeah, let's do that. I mean, we're already defeating the Soviets to a pulp, and I am already the one surrounding. Actually, to make it more ironic, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, you know where I was gonna go with this. A reverse... A reverse kind of... A, re a reverse, like, kind of, um... Circle... Circling of Stalingrad, but it's the Soviet units that are surrounded. <laughs> uh, you know, I was gonna go with... Just go there with that crummy joke. Alter alternate crummy joke, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can create the caucuses now. That's nice. An American operative captured? Seriously, how many operatives are... Like, sheesh. How many operatives are willing to really take me down Take me down that much? Like, I don't get it. Okay, let's see. Now for the caucuses. Mm-hmm. All right. We already created the caucuses, so that's good enough. Oh, and Japan is already making some over, making some, making some good turns against the. Uh... Great, the United Kingdom has made our has decrypted our ciphers, but they can't even go back to their homeland anymore, and, that, and that's saying something because. I already, I already puppeted their homeland. <laughs> this is way too cool. Oh, okay, we'll sign a non-aggression pact with Siam. Oh, oh well, seems like a... Alright, the synthetic rubber course has been taken. Extra research slot or industrial expansion and other recent activities of advance might allow us to conduct more R&D parallel research. Couldn't have said it better myself, honestly. Uh -huh. Pluck and well, let's just add more troops into. To, let's add more troops heading over to the east because I might need them. Yep, from... Oh, creation of Don Wolga? Oh, I see, so I can create those puppets. The fall of Vladivostok? Oh, shoot. Hmm, the Jap... Oh, the Japanese... Oh, they just took Vladivostok? Aid in Turkish state building? Huh, seems like the Japanese might be... Because of me, because I'm actually helping them rebound. Vladivostok, the largest city in the Russian Far East and home to the Soviet Pacific Fleet, has been stormed by the Japanese troops. A strategic position at the far end of a Trans-Siberian Railway makes it a loss at the more, all the more determined to the Soviet war effort in Asia. Huh, a significant development. And what's even more weird is the fact that Manchuria has been survived by only this one area. Like, how did, like, how do the Japanese do it? Like, like, it, it makes me want to ask questions for the Japanese. Like, how are they able to support their puppet for that long? Wait, cancel that. First off, let's handle the, uh, encirclements. Yep, there goes the gunshots in the game. The Soviet Union has, has decrypted our ciphers. Yeah, but even if they decrypted our ciphers, it's still not going to do much. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should decrypt the Soviet ciphers. Yeah, just to be safe. Yep. Yeah. 
And besides, and besides, like I said, the cheat, the army cheat thing is like, I'm not even doing nothing. Like, it's not even fair. The Volksturm. I'll need fire brigades anyway, because uh, I don't think I might see myself falling anytime in the near future. Uh, creation of, ooh, Reichskommissar Moscow and Don Wolga. Yep, we shall create Reichskommissar Moscow. Mm-hmm. And the creation of Don Wolga. It was comp the Reichskommissar on the Don. Well, expand. We'll expand it with Ukraine. Should we expand this Komazar or keep the lands under our protection? Give the extra lands to the Ukraine. They may need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna need it. But now these borders, mm -mm -mm, they simply will not do. Allow me again to make another We're looking border border for Ukraine. These are some good. These are some good, na nice borders. But you know what? Basically, probably because of the fact that, uh... Oh. Well, I do want to move those troops out, so, uh... Come on, Denmark, don't try to be like that. At least Denmark is going a bit fascist, so at least... Or at least I don't have to invade them. Or maybe I will, because who cares? But I feel like as if I want to give the Finnish their land, so like, yeah. Invest in Turkish state building, or propaganda against the British. Heavy water. Okay. The public shall buy war bonds, because they need to. Yep, they need to. The public shall buy war bonds, and holy moly cow, I've basically gone this far through much of the Soviet Union, and the Japanese are really making a good comeback in the Far East because of me. Oh my god. The five Komazars. One, two, three. Well, actually, four, not five. I mistaken myself for that. But I think only four is going to be needful for now. I don't want to expand any further. Or whatever. Hmm. Let's see, get control of which states. Uh, the Vol Volvagard, uh, Perm, this. Macheria was highlighted. Wartenberg, uh, this area. Let's see. Not. Okay, here. Kazan. Not Bialystok, I need that. The Western Desert? Nah, nah. Kirov. Not Kortum. No, I'm not giving them Mur I'm giving you Murmansk, that's crazy. Let they'll- I'll let them take Leningrad, Volvogorad, Onets- Well, no, not Onets, not Onega. Oh, there we go. I'll let them take those. Mm -hmm. Turkey shall have the aid given to them, and holy moly cow, like, Africa is just getting more beaten by the British. Well, technically by me, and the, Amer oh, and the Americans have already sent troops in Africa. Think of the African campaign, but it's like in Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's kind of funny. Between British, American, and German troops. Like, oh my god, man. It's so hilarious. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, time to switch gears a bit. So, okay, let me just do one more... Okay, so I know that my real guns are already starting to leave, um, area, but let me see if I can give these areas to Finland, so hold on. There we go. All of these... All of them are sent to Finland, so... Communist China? Communist China claims Indochina? Okay, Communist China claims Indochina? Wait, are, are you serious? Are you serious, Maldedon? Like, what is your problem? My god, man. I wouldn't be surprised if the Communist Chinese basically allied with them. Oh wait, say what? Really? The Soviets just wanted to give up just like that? Oh my god, man. I can't believe the Soviets just gave up like that. <laughs> wow. They just gave up. Oh my god. And I didn't even have to go that far in the... Far, far anyway, so like, yeah. But now it's time for the Peace Treaty. I do have to say, this is one mighty fine looking peace treaty, but I do say so. <laughs> Even Japan was able to take some of the lands of, uh... Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot to give a... Uh... Okay, General Gummer. Now my alliance is looking good. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I'm technically going to stop here for now, and I don't want this to become an hour long. But I hope you do guys enjoy the video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.